hard to imagine life with an illness that steals your memory. So this artist... Every Friday, join us. Are you sure, Karen? Everything checks out, Eve. The baby's fine. Fine? Look at this, boy. He's perfect. Look at that. I knew it. I knew it. Just have to see for yourself, right? Right. Well, now you can stop worrying. Right. Okay, I'll wait for you outside. Don't be long. Okay. Thanks. <sighs> He's perfect. Yes, he is. Nothing to worry about. Did you hear that, sunshine? You're perfect. And there's nothing to worry about. Eve, it's okay. The baby's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. I really, really would like to believe that. But as long as there's a monster out there who wants to take this baby from me, it's not gonna be okay. It's never gonna be okay. <laughs> You're serious? It's you or me, Caleb. One of us doesn't leave her alive. I'm already not alive. Not in your world, anyway. I don't have time to play games tonight, Michael. So let's just skip to the point where you whine for even a baby's life. I deny you, and you waddle out of here with your head between your legs. You're right, Caleb. This is no time for games. After all, isn't this supposed to be your wedding night? Hey, you already turned down your invitation. It's too late to change your mind. Oh, but the wedding's going ahead as planned. What do you think? What do I think? I think it's strange to find the... the groom hiding in the church cellar on his wedding night. I think I want to ask what happened, Caleb. What went wrong? Why are you here? And where's your beautiful bride? Where's Olivia? You can feel it, can't you? Yes. I love you, Libby. I... I love you so much. No, you don't understand, Jack. I need him. No, we need each other. No, I need Caleb. You need to breathe again. You need to let yourself remember what real love feels like. Can you do that? Can you remember? Our love. Just let yourself feel. Any good news in there? Well, pfft. I don't know if it's good or not, but it, it seems we're headed in the right direction to that Mulderstan area of Transylvania. Well, it's where the first vampires were born, not to mention my ancestors. I'm still hoping for a coincidence there. Or not. What are we going to do there? I mean, I, I wish we just knew what we were looking for when we get there. Whatever it was about you that drove Caleb away and saved our lives, that's what. <sighs> Might be the only thing that'll help save Livy and Eve's baby. God knows who else. Yeah, I've been racking my brain, you know, I've gone over and over that whole thing with Caleb looking for an answer. And? And all that's stuck in my head is, is his face, you know, it, he looked like he was really, well... Afraid. He looked afraid. I know fear when I see it, and he was afraid of you. I know. That's what's got me really worried. What do you mean? Doc, what could be so horrible about me that I would even scare a vampire?
wooden stakes, silver bullets. Garlic works, garlic doesn't work. I don't know what to do here. Hey, hey, I guess I missed the caution flying book zone sign, huh? I have never felt this helpless in all my life. You're not finding any answers here. No. I would fight anything. Tooth and nail in the earthly living creature. But this, this Caleb it's is not living, not earthly. That is pretty much the definition of a family. I'm out of my league here. And that with Eve and the baby needing me most, I, uh, I have no idea how to protect them. Listen, man, if there is anything I can do to help you, I stood before God, and I vowed that I would keep them safe. And I will lay down my life if that's what it takes. I will. It won't come to that. No. But I hope you're right. Eve, I'm telling you, and I will keep right on telling you, you have nothing to worry How about. How can you say that? You don't know Caleb. You don't know what he's capable of. I know that there is nothing in this world or any others that is going to stop you and your stubborn husband from keeping your baby safe. That's all I need to Caleb's know. Caleb's own brother can't even stop him. I've begged him to try and stop him. Ian has begged him. The priest won't protect you? I don't know if he can. I don't know if anybody can. All I know is I'm frightened every second of every day. I can't sleep. My heart is beating a million uh, okay, miles a Eve, minute, and it Eve, won't stop. Eve, look at me. You have to stop this. I can't. You have to. You are putting your baby at risk and playing right into Caleb's hands. I know. I know. I can't help it. Okay, I think I have an idea that might help put your mind at ease. How would you feel about having another doctor stay at the house with you and your baby around the clock? I don't know. I don't know. What if this other doctor was your best friend? What if it was me? You still haven't answered my question. What went wrong, brother? Nothing. But the wedding didn't happen. It will. There was a, a temporary interference, but nothing I can't handle. You seem so sure. And why shouldn't I be? In the end, I'll still have Olivia and Eve's baby. It's just a little delayed. Is it, Caleb? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm sensing something else. You're weak. I can feel it. Ah, something happened, didn't it? Something you don't want to admit. You can't even look at me, can you, kid? I'm sick of looking at you, all right? I've seen enough of your face. And I've seen enough of you to know when you're afraid. That's it, isn't it? It's all making sense now. Something... or someone has frightened you. That's why you're here. That's why you're back hiding in the basement. Shut up! You got a glimpse of the future, didn't you? You know what's ahead of you now, don't you, Caleb? It's a one-way ticket to hell, brother. The revolution. We didn't know about your family. Well, I think I've sort of grown to accept not knowing. I don't think I've ever made peace with the fact that I, I just always wonder, what would it have been like? What it, what would I have been like if I'd been raised by my parents? I and mean, if they hadn't been killed, what would my life have turned out like? Ed, Edgerling did a great job, though. I mean, she really tried to make me feel part of her family, you know? But it wasn't yours. No. Not really. I guess it can't ever be the same thing. I, I just can't believe I didn't see this. All my tarot card readings and all my intuition, who would have sunk? I'd be searching for my roots in Transylvania. The only thing that surprises me is that I'm not surprised anymore. What do you mean? By what? By anything. I mean, that we're on this search. I mean, Mulder style. <laughs> or that you might be connected to the answer that'll save Livy. Hey, who knows? Some of my intuition might finally be rubbing off on you. All I know is what I've always known. You're one of a kind. Oh, dog. I just hope I'm not that kind with thanks. Stop worrying about it. Listen, seriously, if, if you feel the need to bail out of this, I would completely understand. You mean out of the plane? No, no, I don't mean that. I just, I mean, who knows what we're going to find?
behind when we get there. Whatever happens, I promise you it won't change a thing about the way I feel. I can't ask you to just change your life and move in with us. Uh, you didn't. I volunteered. I mean, that's what friends do. You would do it for me. Of course Come I would, but it's different. you're not actually saying no to another pair of hands there to help you monitor the baby. No, you don't understand. That's not it at all. What kind of a friend would I be if I let you put yourself in danger? Eve's right. You can't get anyone else involved in this. I don't know, Ian. You can't be with Eve around the clock. So what are you suggesting? That Karen do this? I am suggesting Karen and I do it. The whole idea is crazy, Frank. Now, what, what is crazy is arguing after what this guy has done to you and Eve and everybody else. You got friends, people. And now you've got roommates. Yeah, and stubborn ones, too. We can't just sit back and watch this happening, guys. End of discussion. From now on, if this bastard shows up, we fight him together. I ain't afraid of nothing. Especially not you. And as for one-way tickets to hell go, you fill me in on what it's like. You're a priest and you're in love with another man's wife. What? What, did you promise Eve you'd get rid of me for her? Never mind what I promised. Did you happen to tell her you can't actually destroy me? Huh? Ah, don't waste my time with empty threats. They're not empty now. Oh, what? Because you met Eve? I'd do anything to protect her. Even if it means destroying you. For a woman you can't have, yes. For a woman you can't hold, whose warmth you'll never feel. A woman you can't possess. I don't need to possess Eve to love her. So your reign of terror ends once and for all tonight. Tonight? Ooh. Hey, look at me, Michael. Look, I'm still standing here. You know how many times I've heard that threat and I'm still here? You wanna know why? Cause you ain't got the guts or the knowledge. I've always had the knowledge, Caleb. As for having the courage, loving Eve has made all the difference. I'll do this for her. All right. Do you want to play hero? Cause it's time to live up to your word. You want to fight? I'll give you a fight. I'm ready. Ready to die? Cause you're right, Mikey. Only one of us will survive tonight. I just want to find a way to make it better. I want that too, Jack. All this ache and confusion, I just, I want it to go away. God, I want to know where I belong and feel it again in your arms, Jack, the way it was, the way I remember. Hey, can you give me that? Please. I want that life, too. The life we've been building before all this started. I do. We can have it, Jack. I'm sure of it. We can be together. Oh. I want this so much. We both do. But I don't... No, if I can control myself, my instincts. You promised. Oh, God, Livy. The curve in your neck. I can taste your blood. Ah, you swore. You'd help me forget, Jack. You'd make me forget about everything and everyone but our love. Just us. God, please. Chad, please save me. Save us, please. No. Chad, what? No, I was afraid this was going to happen. you're afraid of. God, I want to see. I want to see, Jack. I love you. Jack, I love you in every 
everything that you are, everything. Well, that was something. Yeah. Got some very good friends. Well, I guess that puts them at the top of the godparents list, huh? Huh. Ah. Let's see, we go home and start an official list of nominees. You ready? Oh, whenever you are. Okay, just got one stop to make. I'm gonna get a portable fetal monitor. Why? Well, so you can check on the wee one whenever you like. If peace of mind is what you want, that's what I'll fight for. Do you know how much I love you? I think I do. That makes me the luckiest man in the world. Take me home. Mm, you bet. You pull the car around. Mm. 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 Bye. Dr. Stive to the nursery. Dr. Vince Stive to the nursery. Ian? Woo! We here we are. Welcome to Transylvania. Yeah, so far so good. No howling. No, not yet. You sure you're ready for this? No. Yeah, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. You know, we gotta just do it. Let's get this quest on the road. Yeah, let's give that old family tree of yours a good shake. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, sir. Could you help us with our bags, please? Yes, can I see your claim tickets, please? There you are. I'll bring them outside, sir. Thank you. Lucy? Lucy? Huh? Let the quest begin. Oh, questing. We got questing to do. Okay. Speak. I've seen her. She's here. As expected. Watch them closely. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. No. No, Michael, it's, it's OK. I, everything startles me lately. I think it's the pregnancy. What are you doing here? I just thought you'd like to know. It's done. I'm not sure I know what you mean. I think you do. You'd asked me to choose between you and my brother. I chose you, Eve. I did what you asked. You don't have to worry about Caleb anymore. He's dead, Eve. I killed my brother. I'm not afraid of you, Jack. Lily, I don't think you understand. But I do. Like, how can you say that? You saw my fangs. I know, and and I love you, Jack. Lily, everything we dream together, the life we want together, it's not going to happen, OK? No, stop. Jack, listen to me. You can make all of our dreams come true now with these powers. Caleb, show me what they can do. I've seen it. Under tricks. No. Jack, no. He created a world, an incredible, beautiful world. And you can do, we can have so much more than Caleb and I ever could have. You can make it happen, Jack. That is what we both want. You don't know what you're talking about. I know how much I want you, Jack. And I know how much we love each other. Not this way. Jack, it's what I want. God. You have the power to do anything you want. Jack, you have the power to make me all yours. Oh, God. We can be together forever. Jack, feed on me. And the pain will go away for the both of us. One bite. And I forget everything and everyone but you. One little bite. And I forget Caleb forever. Uh, 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles, Tainted Love. God help me, I've killed my own brother, but I had to for you. She's okay, she's with Jack. Jack is a vampire, Lucy. Do it, Jack. Make me one with you. In Pine Valley, it's all about Erica Kane and her world. On SoapNet, it's all about you. Coming up next is All My Children on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. Up next, it's All My Children, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, right here on SoapNet. Coming up next, SoapNet presents...